In this video, I will show you how to password protect an Excel workbook using the Python library Win32Com. Here is our working document, which contains just one sheet and a single bit of text in cell A1. The next time I open the workbook, we should be unable to see any of this and instead should be prompted to enter a password. I start off by importing the win32com.client as win32. This is the client that allows me to work with our applications on a Windows device. This method of adding a password for an Excel document will not work on an Apple machine as this library is Windows specific. I am also importing the OS library as I will need to collect the working directory in which my testing document exists, and the best way to do this is with the OS library. This first bit of code is what starts the Excel application behind the scenes. I use the gen cache attribute of the Win32 client and access the insure dispatch function of that attribute. To this function, I pass a string, Excel.application. This line of code initializes the Excel object, and I save that Excel object as the variable Excel. Next, I would like to open my test workbook. I do that by first capturing as the variable workbook to open the location of that workbook. I use the getCWD function of the OS library, which stands for get current working directory. This will collect the path to where my current working directory is. Over here on the left, you can see my test document is in the same directory as the Jupyter Notebook that I am working with. So all I have to do is collect the current working directory and add the specific file name to that string. Next, I'm going to open the workbook with this line of code, excel.workbooks.open, and pass the location of my workbook. This opens the workbook in memory, and I will be assigning that workbook the workbook variable. This next line of code is very straightforward. The application that I have opened, which in our case is Excel, has a password attribute. To that attribute, I can pass a string of text, which is what I'm doing right here with example pass. This string of text I am assigning the password attribute will be the password that I can use to access and unlock my Excel workbook. To complete the process, I call the workbook and save it with the save function and then close it with the close function. I then quit the application completely in memory with the quit function on our Excel application object. I'll execute this now and try to open the Excel workbook. Here you can see that upon opening the application, an input dialog opens with it. It states that the workbook is protected and it's prompting me for a password. Let me enter example pass as the password. Successfully entering the password, I can now see the workbook is unlocked and I'm shown that first sheet that we had to begin with. If I was to close this workbook and try to open it again, you can see that the password protection remains. So it's actually quite easy. You initialize Excel as the application that you would like to protect with a password. You then open the workbook with the workbook.open function on your application object and assign a password with the password attribute. You then save, close, and quit your workbook and application. Thank you for watching. Please let me know in the comments below if this was a helpful video and you found it informative. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it as it does help others find this content. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that you know when the next video drops.